Hello guys and welcome to another David Zamaletta. My name is Serge and in today's video I'm going to show you my entire project that I did today for six hours and this was going to be 15 minutes of video even though I had a time lapse. So I actually speeded things up that way you could see the whole entire process without boring uh, details and I'm going to explain how everything has went. Um, this is basically the current state of things um, from the beginning till the end. I'm just basically working in different areas, allowing some areas to dry while I'm applying either primer or sending those areas or sometimes even using bondo. So I need to explain something to you guys. Uh, as you could see, I'm starting to remove this primer right here on this hood. This is uh, the very beginning of my day. Um, and unfortunately, even though it has been sitting for three days, uh, the primer that I first used, which was prime primer with paint, I will show you the bottle uh, a little bit later on. It started curling up all the paint uh, and well, basically, since it's primer with paint, it curled up the primer uh, as well. Um, so that was really, really annoying um, as I have used that paint and primer um, from Rust-Oleum on pretty much every single panel that I'm working on, therefore causing me to take out every single panel that I have worked and uh, redo it with filler primer. As you can see, um, this is the filler primer that I used, and this is the stuff to the right, which I used my very first day. So what I want to say, guys, is don't make the same mistake as I did and use the correct stuff. I'm not saying use this rattle can stuff, but that paint and primer finish is just terrible. Over here, I realized for some reason, I guess once this hit occurred, uh, this pointed um, area is just kind of like sticking up. And I'm trying to knock it down. And guys, it wasn't as easy as it looks. Even though um, it looks like it's just sheet metal, I had to use my metal hammer to knock it down and still it wasn't knocking down. The areas around it was knocking down, but not that area itself. It's just kind of like, like a big pimple sticking out over there. So apparently I knock it down enough. As you could see now we have um, like a deep spot over there. Um, and now I could actually finish sending it off to the metal so that I could actually apply Bondo. And I'm really sorry that you cannot see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes it's very hard to align all of the stuff perfectly. So I have applied um, Bondo to that area. And now I'm beginning to basically sand all of this stuff. And guys, look at that. It's just curling up. It's just so terrible. And I thought three days would be enough for this stuff to dry. I'm not sure like what's going on. Is this primer plus paint um, not supposed to be sandable? Uh, is it not ever supposed to dry? Like what's really going on here? Because it has messed up all of my work. So now I need to carefully remove all of it. And look, I'm going through sandpapers like it's free. Um, and this is the 80 grit sandpaper. And look, everywhere I try to sand, it is basically just curling up on me. So if I had the correct stuff, it would have made my job a whole lot easier. But you know how it is, guys. You start out doing, you think you have everything. Uh, the primers that I did have, uh, those bottles did not work, so this one did, so that's what I went with. Um, even though I had full primers, they just did not work. So anyways, I now finally removed all of that bad primer. There's probably still some remaining, so I'm trying to feel for it and just trying to make sure that I don't feel anymore because even though it looks like it's smooth, sometimes I would touch it and uh, I could feel some of it still there, especially in some of the black portions. Um, but I tried to get as much of it off. Unfortunately, some of it still stayed behind, but it's not going to be like a huge deal uh, now that the rest of it is off. So in this um, section, I'll be using the filler primer just to kind of get things started. And then also I'm going to be using uh, the, the black sandable primer, which is a similar color to the car. And it's going to be a lot easier to tell like what's really going on. So that area that I just now applied Bondo, those had some low spots. And I wanted to make sure that I even everything out. I'm trying to do a really good job on it, guys. Even though this is an 18-year-old vehicle, it's probably not even worth it. But to my eye, it's worth it. I want to make sure that my eye is satisfied like when I'm looking at it. So while that uh, Bondo is drying, I'm trying to get rid of all of that other stuff there. And... Now that it dried, I send it down and it's looking a whole lot better. And I could see my lines were still good. 
and then some sometime over here uh, at this moment i get carried away with sanding and i mess up my line uh not the not the fender line uh this tape actually um took off a little bit but i want to make sure i i basically outline uh my actual fender line that way i could see where the low spots and high spots are and everything and i could apply some bondo which i did and everything's happening so quickly because i speeded things up so much that you probably did not even see me apply any bondo in those areas but i really did and i'm just trying to curve things out as much as possible it looks worse than it actually is it's actually nice and curved but it looks like it's a little bit um kind of like like a bump there but it's actually fine so i'm basically trying to be like a sculptor and sculpt things out kind of like sculpting things out of clay this is actually an enjoyable process for me guys believe it or not um probably not for everybody but i enjoy sculpting things i mean i haven't done that in a very very long time but i used to have a scholastics class and that was something that i really really enjoy just working with clay but bondo it's kind of similar to clay you know you put it on you could take some off and you could shape it how you want but it just basically gets hard very quickly but basically guys i'm trying to uh send down some more spots at the at the at the top uh right there as you could see and also get rid of some of that other primer and now i have applied a little bit more bondo that way it could dry while i'm working in this area and as i started working in this area i realized my sandpaper again is all getting you know stuffed up and i'm thinking like i don't know what's going on because at this point it's been drying for about three hours for this uh primer filler and i'm kind of thinking maybe not a good idea to use primer filler from now on um unless I have a day to maybe wait till it dries but it does say th um 10 minutes dry time and then it could take up to four hours to dry so i'm starting out, starting out with a brand new uh 80 um grit sandpaper here to send things down and as you can see it is stuffing it up some uh this this is why i use primer filler as well but it's not that bad it's actually um at least it's not curling up and this is normal that it does that to sandpaper whenever you uh prime in the car and you will go through a lot of sandpaper but one of the annoying things is is when the primer starts curling up and it, that's just really really hard to deal with because you have to take all of it off in order to achieve uh, any kind of success so over here i'm going to try to uh even out like um my previous uh bondo job and i got carried away a little bit too much with the sander towards the bottom as you can see i just messed up my line um, I did not realize how much bondo there was in that area that I shaved a lot of it off and and I'm not really catching that at this point but I will and then I'm going to actually solve it with my little trick basically just using tape when I'm applying some bondo uh, it allows me to keep things nice and straight and a lot of times when you're bondoing stuff it's really hard to see kind of like what's really going on until you actually apply some some primer or paint to it but believe me you want to make sure you finish everything up correctly because uh primer will show you mistakes paint will definitely show you mistakes so i'm getting ready to just apply this um black primer here so that i could actually see what's going on and once i apply it everywhere i look and i'm like uh oh look at that that's messed up right there so i really need to fix this and I actually waited for this stuff to dry and um, started working on these other areas and then I came back and I could see that there's a reaction on my gas cap that's because some old primer has stayed and when I open up the door there's there some reactions on the inside as well so this is what I mean kind of like I'm using a tape here to basically figure out where the line is so this gets me close enough and I send everything down and now it's resprayed as you can see now it's pretty good there's still lots work to lots more work to be done guys but this is the end of the video as you can see there's some reactions on the inside of the door i sprayed everything uh, with filler primer afterward just to hopefully you know it's going to fill up some of those areas uh with the cracks and tomorrow i'm going to send that stuff and possibly apply some more primer and hopefully i could get the stuff looking uh nice and straight but anyways, guys, this is the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and please hit a like on this video. 
uh, for my efforts. If you guys have any advice uh, for any of us that's watching, including myself, please uh, feel free to leave in the comments section.